Uh, I, uh, after about 10 years or so at uh, GSK Oncology, um, I was looking for a new challenge and uh, I had the opportunity to join Adaptimmune and I was uh, very excited to explore all the attributes and advantages of T-cell therapies and what they could do for people suffering with cancer. Well, I think, um, you know, as they talk, immunotherapy is like the, one of the new pillars of cancer treatment. And uh, T-cell therapies have opened up tremendous opportunities. Um, they have done so clearly in the treatment of B-cell malignancies. Um, and I think for us, um, we are making um, huge inroads in the treatment of patients with solid tumors. And, um, you know, this has the opportunity to, to take someone's own cells and have those cells reprogrammed to fight their cancer. It is like the pinnacle of personalized medicine. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the therapies for synovial sarcoma and other sarcoma types, they really have not changed meant much in years. In fact, uh, anthracyclines, which is a standard of care for uh, patients with this disease, they were approved in the 70s, right? So there hasn't been a lot of major advances. And, um, those therapies have a lot of toxicity associated with them. Um, and I, for us, we think we have a therapy in a FAMA cell that really could make a big difference in the treatment of people with this disease. Well, it's, it's super exciting. Um, it's, it is so exciting, actually, and daunting at times to, to be at uh, at the forefront of the technology. I mean, we're, we're gonna be the first engineered T-cell for the solid tumor. That is our goal um, for the treatment of cancer. Um, you know, we, we acknowledge there'll be a lot of challenges as being one, the first, and, uh, but we're up to the challenge and we're looking forward to submit next year. Well, what I would say is um, it's a good time to really take stock of the fact this disease uh, requires more research, more awareness. Um, unfortunately, it saddens me actually that at times people with sarcoma and people that are fighting for awareness with this disease consider it to be the forgotten disease, the forgotten cancer. Um, it's certainly not forgotten here at Adaptimmune. This is one of the forefronts of our attention and we have a promising therapy that we think is gonna make a difference um, with synovial sarcoma. I, I think one of the things I, I always struggle with is, you know, people will say, well, sarcoma is a rare disease. Well, it's clearly not a rare disease if you have it. It's not a rare disease if your child has it, your loved one has it. Um, so for us, as I mentioned, sarcoma is um, at the top of our mindset. And um, I think we're working with patient advocacy groups. We're working with investigators who, um, in the sarcoma network in the United States and Europe. And we really are focused on bringing um, this therapy forward. And I think when you have a novel therapy in, in a rare disease, um, I think that gives more attention to the disease as the whole. And uh, I think more research, more therapies in this disease are welcome, uh, would be welcome.